K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots, I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to my tour around the world featuring Flight Simulator 10 FSX Steam Edition. We are going to be specific on that because there is going to be a regular FSX version, meaning the boxed uh, with the deluxe and the... Um, acceleration expansion pack basically the FSX gold and the reason for that is it's going to have a different setup of scenery compared to uh, what we're doing here on the Steam Edition but is it me or is the windshield fogging up <laughs> I think it's fogging up I know it's getting dark no it's fogging up look at this Alright, hold on. Let's, uh, let's open this up. It's kind of wicked because with this, um, what is that, a walkway bridge or something? Uh, this particular plane has a lot of nice little reality features to it. Alright, so while this is, uh, clearing up, let's go ahead and talk about our flight. And so this is our map. We are, we zoom in here uh, and it disappears. We zoom in and we're right here on this little strip of land, island for whatever you want to call it. Um, Sky Harbor, not international in Phoenix, but Sky Harbor uh, in, um, what is it, Minnesota? Minnesota? I think it's Minnesota. It's, it's like the border goes like right here along it. So I think it's Minnesota, not Wisconsin. But we are going to be flying to Wisconsin. We are going to be flying in this direction. This direction right here. And we're going to land right here at John F. Kennedy Memorial. So it's objectionable if we're going to be doing that or not. So here's the... Uh, kind of thought I had on this is flying from Sky Harbor to John F. Kennedy there are two international airports with those same names you got Phoenix uh, Sky Harbor International Airport and then you got John F. Kennedy International Airport which is in New York so we're not flying that far <laughs> but we are going to do this little hop I thought it would be kind of neat and for those who were thinking what this is not the international version because it'll be in the title it'll have Sky Harbor to John F. Kennedy but you have to know your four letter uh, code designator it's not KPHX to uh, KJFK it's KDYT to KASX ASX meaning Ashfield this is, uh, I'm sorry, Ashland. <laughs> Not Ashfield, Ashland. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. And uh, we'll go ahead and get ready to go. And it's gotten even worse. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our maintenance bay here.
So, just bring this over here. Aircraft is not inspected. Well, we'll go ahead and inspect it now then. It's running well. That's about all it's doing. It's running well. Oh, let's see. Let's get our checklist up here. Um, I'm not going to worry about going through. This is not the checklist that I want. I'm not going to worry about doing the walk-arounds. We've done those on... Uh, I don't know the other videos. This is what I'm looking for right here. All right, so pre-flight complete. Well, we did that. Um, well, okay, no, we didn't. But <laughs> but I did brief you passengers on what we're doing and where we're going. Um, your seat belts. Well, I guess that's up to you. And the flaps up. No, they are not up. Now they are. Radio's off. Like everything is off at the moment. Let's see here. Turn everything on. Low, 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 low. Low, 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 low. Okay, we don't want... Yeah, we want that all the way in. We want that a little bit like that. Ooh, that spins. Look at this. This spins. See that? And that just turns everything. Oh my! What happened? It's like, turn on! Turn on! Stay on! How are we doing on fuel? Um, okay, we're good on fuel. Let's select this tank, our right tank here. I'll just switch this over there. And... Uh, gear lights, green, yes they are. Battery and alternator, altimeter switches on. I didn't realize there was a way to... Oh, maybe that's over here. <laughs> okay, they're on. Auxiliary pump on. Okay, so we turn this on until that uh, here goes into the green. Okay. Okay, I didn't have the throttle all the way up. Okay, now just crack it a little bit there. And mixture lean. Okay, so we have to actually pull this out, don't we? Well no no no. If we do that then it's gonna shut off. Oh pff, hold on. Okay. I'm making this more complicated than what it needs to be. Start it first, then lean it. I may have flooded the engine. Well, if all else fails, do control E. <laughs> said, whoa, 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 sparky, whoa, sparky. Let this be a lesson to you. Always have your parking brake on. I thought I did. 
I probably missed something on the checklist. Oh, this is not good. I'm in mouse view. I, I can't... What happened? All right, I think we fixed it. I was on mouse yoke for some reason. All right, so cow flaps, open those, and radios, transponder, and all that good stuff. Um, let's go ahead and turn our lights on too. Uh, let's see, turn that off. I don't know if we need to turn any of that on, but. See? And like magic, we can now see out the windshield. I'll just shut that right there. And we're gonna go to Utopia Radio. Why? Because we are. 122.20. Alright, my friends. Utopia Radio Beach 1313 Foxtrot 122.2 Sky Harbor. Beach 1313 Foxtrot Utopia Radio. Go ahead. Utopia Radio Beach 1313 Foxtrot ready for clearance Kennedy Memorial. Beach 1313 Foxtrot stand by. I need to change that voice. I swear this guy shows up as every controller. Which one three one three fox rate ATC clears you to Kennedy Miami Airport cleared as file. Maintain five thousand clearance wide after zero one three eight Zulu squawk three zero four five. Three zero four. Beach 1313 Foxtrot cleared to Kennedy Memorial Airport, cleared as filed, maintain 5000, clearance void after 0138, Zulu, squawk 3045. Beach 1313 Foxtrot, read back, correct? That's supposed to say read back, it sounds like it's saying clear back or something, I don't know. Tune to Sky Harbor, Unit. I thought that said Unicorn. Unicom 122.7. Meanwhile, the spark plugs are probably all fouled up. Sky Harbor Unicom Beach 1313 Foxtrot request airport information. Beach 1313 Foxtrot, altimeter 29 or 74. Surface wind calm. In use runway 31 helipod. Helipod? Alright. She said 2974, so we're going to change this to 2974. Woo! Roger, Beach 1313 Foxtrot. He did say helipad. Take taxing the runway 31 helipad? Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not taking a helipad. But I know which direction we're going. Alright. We'll go ahead and get going here. We're going to go down this... Uh, Really, kind of cool. This is this is a uh, 
user created airport too. So when you have that and you add the the Orbix Global, it just just works very nicely together. Now keep in mind that all these houses are actually not supposed to be there. <laughs> On the real Sky Harbor, there's not actual houses like right there. It's more like trees. So they got some trees. Maybe we're seeing a vision of the future. Someday there will be houses here. Or perhaps it's the past. There used to be houses. And then they tore them all up. This doesn't look like 3-1 helipad to me. This thing doesn't have a helipad. What's it talking about? Sky Harbor Traffic, Beach 1313, Foxtrot, Taxi to Runway 31, Helipad, Sky Harbor. Well, I'm already here. Taxi to Runway 31, Helipad. I don't know, but I'm going to take off is what I'm going to do. It has a waterway. But I don't know of a helipad. Alright, put the uh, parking brake on. Let's get our altitude here set. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. 4,000. We'll set it at 4,000. Well, I think we are ready to go. Is everyone freezing? Or anyone freezing? Let's find out. Oh, temperature is... I can't read that. It's in green. Cabin is nice and steady. Well, that's what we want. All right, we checked over instruments. Uh, we're going to run this up to 1700. And uh, we'll do the prop cycle and all that other stuff. All right. Run that up to 700 there. I can hear my dog whining in the background. We'll just yeah, 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 that. And what? Oh, check the um Huh. I didn't foul the spark spark plugs. If I had fouled them, the um was that tachometer? The tachometer would have, uh... The RPMs would have gone down, so... Cool! Alright. Well then, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and go. Probably should turn... Those on. I tend to forget to do that. Just stay on the uh, runway. That would be good. that is. That is gorgeous on here. Whoa, it's so gorgeous we're gonna run into the uh, ocean here.
Yeah, so this is uh, Duluth down there. That just looks really cool at night. in this direction here. You can hear the rain. not having recording problems. So this is superior, superior over here. Chidai Bong is, I think we're flying over it, there it is, right there, there's Richard I. Bong, it's one of the runways, boy it's dark. black spot right there. Oh, we may not have any air traffic for the rest of the flight. <laughs> it's still uh, here. <laughs> it still says taxi to runway 31 helipad. Good old Fox ATC. When it works, it works. When it doesn't, it's just like all the other ATC programs. There's not one perfect one. There's not one size fits all. something what <laughs> sky harbor traffic beach 1313 foxtrot taking runway 31 helipad departing to the east sky harbor we are not and i am still having problems with my recording software I guess I have to update my graphics cards because the recording software will only let me do software encoding instead of hardware encoding. And this is Windows 7. I shouldn't have that problem. Windows 10, I can do hardware encoding, so I don't know. We should turn on the autopilot. That might be a start. Let's 
Sky Harbor traffic, Beach 1313 Fox Trot, leaving the area to the east, Sky Harbor. Are we above the clouds? Where are we? I don't see anything, do you? turn into the Minneapolis Center. So I don't know if I showed you this before, but Vox ATC has its own little window and it will tell you, oh, okay, tune in to Minneapolis Center, read this, uh, when it'll be green. When it changes from green to blue, that means you said it correctly and it understood you. Minneapolis Center, Beach 1313, Foxtrot with you at 5,300. Beach 1313, Foxtrot, Minneapolis Center, Roger, altimeter 29 or 74. Minneapolis Center, Cafe 416, with you at flight level 360. Beach 1313, Foxtrot, cleared for NDB runway to approach. Change to advisory frequency approved. Cafe 416, Minneapolis Center, Roger. Cleared for NDB runway 2 approach, Beach 1313 Foxtrot. Alaska 38, contact Minneapolis Center 121.05. Wow, they want us to go to Memor Kennedy Memorial Traffic already. How far away are we? Minneapolis Center, WestJet 551. Oh, with you at flight level not far. 360. 11 minutes West away. Jet 551, Minneapolis Center, Roger. Oh, I guess this won't be a very long flight. Man, I can't read that. Sorry, my eyes blur. Cap 416, contact Minneapolis Center 121.05. Says fly approach. Let's go ahead and, yeah, we're 10 minutes away, we distance 33 miles, let's look up procedure NDB2, there it is, enter, I guess vectors will be fine. There it is. Okay, so it's up ahead. Okay, I must have gone, there it is. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to change this to 
let's go ahead and bring our speed down here. Put the cow cow flaps in. Yeah, it's dark. There's like absolutely nothing to see. So we got ourselves an IFR flight. We got a real one. We got a real wow, wow, wow. Oh, it stopped raining. All right, so here it is here. That's the airport. So we're heading over here to, we're gonna head to the end of this line, to this red line here, and then we'll bring it all the way in. I don't even know if I want to use my flaps. There's always a problem with it. I, I, we know what I think it is. Is because these flaps have an, it's like up and down, but it has degrees here. But whenever I move it, it like it brings it all down at once. And I don't think it's supposed to do that. We're seven minutes away. And I think we're a little too high, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Start making the descent here. We're 19 miles away. Did I um, turn it down too much? I may have. I'm watching my airspeed indicator here. At some point, it's going to get too low and it's not going to be able to fly. American Pacific 294, Kennedy Memorial Unicon, go ahead. American Pacific oh, this, 294, at least I'm tuned into the right channel. Information. American Pacific 294, altimeter 29 or 74, surface wind calm, news runway 2. Hey, we can actually see stuff. Is that snow? I don't know, it's dark. I can't see a thing. Or those could be lakes. Maybe that's what that is. Those are all frozen lakes. Yeah, I think that's what that is. See all that right there? I think we're looking at some frozen lakes. Now we're not seeing anything. <laughs> What's the altitude of this place? Maybe I should look it up. I probably should have done that to start with. Um, hmm. We're at 4,000. I don't think we're too high. Air nav information. Let's 
go to K A S X. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. Elevation eight hundred and twenty six feet. So we're doing okay. Don't spin around. Here, I'm going to put that on there. Thirteen miles. Cessna 1358 KLO. Cessna 1358 KLO. Kennedy Memorial Unicum. Go ahead. Cessna 1358 KLO. At Park 4. Request airport information. Request airport information. Cessna 1358 KLO. Altimeter 29 or 71. Surface wind calm. News runway 2. Runway 2. Cessna 1358 <laughs> KLO. And you know the scary thing is, with it being dark, if the flaps decide to break, you know what's happened on the other ones where it just like goes wildly out of control? Can't see anything. I would have to look at this thing here to see if we're spinning out of control. I don't even know if I want to use my flaps. Oh, but you know what we can do? Let me turn that function off. See right here, it says damage on. I'm going to turn that off. Damage disabled. Yeah, it doesn't make it as fun, but you know what? With all the problems that we've been having with the flaps, I'm turning that thing off. Until I can figure out what's going on. It is completely pitch black. We are solely relying off of our instruments here. We're getting close to our vector. As inaccurate as the default ATC is, Kennedy Memorial Unicom. It still Cessna sounds better. Cessna 865 November. Cessna 865 November. Kennedy Memorial but Unicom. Go it ahead. Just Cessna 4865 November. Transfers you to so many frequencies. At Park 6. Here, tune into this information. approach, and now tune into this airport. Cessna Same airport, but November. a different frequency. Or two nine or seven one. Surface wind calm. News run you away Tune into five different uh, frequencies for a Minneapolis Center November. or whatever. Uh, I guess those centers are divided into sectors and that's why they're all different. I guess that makes sense. Just seems a little too much. 
We are getting close. Kennedy Memorial Traffic, Cessna 4865 November, taxiing to runway 2, Kennedy MEML. <laughs> MEML. That's Memorial. mixture okay let's go ahead and make that go away turn on our taxi and landing lights we are seven miles away Kennedy Memorial Traffic, Cessna 4865 November, taking runway 2, departing to the southeast, Kennedy MEMO. Whoops. I was turning the rudder, I was not turning the plane. Instruments here, folks. It's somewhere in front of us. Oh wait, no, we're not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, no, we're not um, two miles away. Man, I'm wildly going all over the place here. in on the nav. Hold on here. Let's see if it locks us onto the uh, looks like it is. See I'm gonna try to have it lock us in on this. We're just getting bounced around right now with the weather. And then as soon as we get close to the airport, we'll go ahead and turn it off. Is it me or is there a light shining through here? That's kind of weird.
Yeah, we're lined up. See? We're lined up. Nothing. This may be a very interesting landing. Kennedy Memorial Traffic Beach 1313 Foxtrot on final for runway 2, Kennedy Memorial. Six miles. So you know that because we look over here and it says six nautical model miles, molecules, molecules, with a three minutes estimated time ETE, estimated time of ETA is arrival. What's ETE? Five miles. Where the heck is that runway? Shouldn't we be seeing it? It'll bring us down a little bit here. I think I see it. I think it's right in front of us. I think that's it. Although we're off at an angle, we're not. Three miles. That's gotta be it. Kennedy Memorial Traffic, Cessna 1358 Kilo, leaving the area to the south is Kennedy Memo. Memo. smokes this is like I'm not seeing anything it should be like right in front of us see trees that we're about to hit. Is this thing lit up? I don't see it. Oh, there! I see some flashing lights. Man, talk about crappy um, visibility. There we go!
Whoa, right on. Does anyone say that anymore? Right on, right on. Kennedy Memorial Traffic, Cessna 4865 November, leaving the area to the southeast, Kennedy M-E-M-L. M-E-M-E-L-L. We landed, and we landed on the right runway, too. Two, two. Land by landing on two, that was what we were supposed to do. I missed the turn off. I do know that there is a taxiway here in the corner. Ah, there it is. Okay. There wasn't a turn off. That's right. Turn off those uh, landing lights there. Just need taxi lights. Kennedy Memorial Traffic, Beach 1313 Foxtrot, clear of runway 2, Kennedy Memorial. We'll park over here next to the uh, searchlight. <laughs> well, well, we are here. Yay. Oh, I never used the flaps, that's right. <laughs> I went through all that trouble to um, change it, change change the damage off and I never used it. But then again, um, well that's a little dark. It turned back on. Um, but the way the wind was batteries off. Woo! It's dark! Yeah, but the way the wind that was... It's almost like we didn't need to use it because of the, the, the wind that was um, kind of bouncing us around. I think if we had the flaps down, it would have caused more problems. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a real pilot, so... But we landed. We found the runway and we landed. I don't think we hit a tree. I don't know. I have collision detection off. On some of this stuff, you have to have collision detection off because it, um, like I've, I, and you would have seen it. It was, um, one of the other flights that I did on, um, FSX where I was going to the fuel station and it detected some type of collision before I got there and there was nothing there. So, and you just pretty much have to turn it off. Uh, otherwise, it, it seems to conflict with other things. But anyway, uh, that is it for this flight. And uh, be sure to check it out on the uh, the other simulators to see what I did there. Um, especially Flight Simulator 2000. That one has become my comedy version of the Flight Sim World Tour series. Because of all the... Um, <laughs> You think this the text of speech is interesting on this? You should hear what I what I do on um, Flight Simulator 2000. Uh, I I have to generate air traffic, and with that, um, you can put in custom voices and communications, and so uh, the pilots have interesting things to say <laughs> as they're flying and taking off and landing at the at the uh, the airport. So. Um, check that one out. 
graphic wise, eh, but entertainment wise, it's fun. Anyway, anyhow, I will uh, see you on the next leg of our journey. Have a good one.
I hope you're enjoying these videos as much as I am making them. They really mean a lot to me and I'm glad I can share them with you. This same flight can also be seen on these other flight simulators, so they are great if you'd like to make comparisons. If you'd like to see more flight simulator content, then be sure to subscribe to get automatic notifications. There's also that bell thing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around. Bring a parachute.